Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be checking out an all new horror game. Well, not technically brand new, but it's new to me. I've never played it. I've heard really good things about it. And so, I wanted to check it out. So welcome to my eyes deceive. Set over the course of roughly a week, you play as a young girl who has been living in a shelter all her life. The outside world is infected with a deadly disease. Society is in chaos. Fortunately, your papa is protecting you. The characters, storylines, and environments within the experience are fictional creations and should not be interpreted as representations of real life situations or individuals. Hmm. All right, so here we are. Take your pills. And this game has this like subtle humming effect in the background. It's kind of creepy. How do I take my pills? Oh. Okay, maybe I got a hold E. Yeah. Perfect. Drink some water. I like how you actually feel tiny. You know, considering we're playing as a young girl, as a child. I've played games where that's the case, and that is my food for today. All right, so I got to drink water from here. See, I've played games where you're you're playing as a young child, and the kid is like taller than the fridge, and I don't know. Little details matter; they go a long way. Pre prepare some food. I'm not thirsty anymore, but I just ate the food. So do I put it in the microwave? Ah, okay. This is a really simple game. I don't know if it's supposed to be like jump scares or it's just suspense. But I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands. Okay, maybe maybe I gotta go to the bathroom. Perhaps that's a good idea. Yep. You can you can tell this is like some sort of bunker. And it's kinda creepy. Don't wanna wash my hands in the toilet, that'd be weird. But hey, if that's all you got, then that's all you got. Wait for father. So I'll tell you guys a quick story. When I was very young, I lived in Cuba. And you're not going to believe me. And it's a, it might be a little nasty, but I'll tell you. I was very young. I was playing with one of my buddies outside and my parents weren't home and we were outside and when you're in Cuba you play by yourself in the street and it doesn't matter it was in the 90s you know it's not like nowadays but I had to go to the bathroom and the only way that I was able to wipe myself was with like leaves from trees I don't know why I'm telling you this I guess because we're playing as a young kid and kind of bring bring me back. You know, this child is living in some sort of shelter, a bunker, with uh, obviously not the very best qualities of life. And so, yeah, never mind. So I'll go ahead and play my. T <laughs> I wiped my ass with leaves, bro, when I was like five years old. A couple times too. Anyways, we've got the kid pad, free runner. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. Play this. I want to talk to Papa. You look thirsty. Oh, where's my dad? Papa? Oh, hold on. Go ahead and water the plants. I know this is probably not. You know what? I'm going to hold off on that. Or screw it, we'll do it. I think this is something we're probably going to have to do after we speak to to Papa, but keep growing, little one. That's so fucking sad. I think this game has nailed the effect of feeling kind of depressed. Grow big and strong, little one. And I think a lot of that has to do with the music in the background. Is it here? The 
Hello, darling. Are you here? Yes, Papa. Will you come down today? No, honey. You should really know better. You could get infected. Did you take your... Did you take your pills? Yes. They're making me uh, feel sleepy again. Then you should probably go to bed. Can you tell me a story from outside? Please? Okay, but I'll keep it short. Today I saw a very scary creature. Upon seeing that I felt immense terror. However, I managed to escape. That's why you mustn't try to leave. I'd hate for them to find you. Thank you for protecting me. I am very tired. I think I'll go to bed. Oh, uh, before you go. I have something for you. A diary! So you don't get bored. Thank you. No worries, my dear. Okay. Now. Sleep well. See you, Papa. Uh, this is pretty sad. in the room. I have this immense weight over me right now. I feel so bad for this little girl. Writing your diary. Today, Papa gave me this diary. I'm so happy. He also told me a story from the outside. Seems like there are very or that there, there is, or seems like a very scary place. You'll hear from me tomorrow. And then she drew the little stairs and like the whole... Hmm. Go to sleep. Papa? Oh. Hold on. Um, too tired. Okay, let me. The door is locked. <sighs> Bro, what if that's not our father? What if, what if we're actually kind of like, what if we've been taken from like a very young age, you know? Hmm. I don't know. Something's kind of weird about this, and... Uh... Hello? Is this a dream, perhaps? Uh... <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. Damn. Scared the crap out of me. This is, technically, this is what I was trying to do after the diary, but here we go. Day two. Take your pills. Okay, I'll take my pills again. Here we go. Drink some water. Very systematic approach to our everyday life here. Fix up some food, possibly. Prepare some food. That is my food for today. Put it in the microwave. Heat it up. I gotta keep looking at it. Then go ahead and wash my hands. See if Papa comes down again. Wash yourself. Okay, so it's wash myself. Not wash my hands. Got it. Ah. 
I am very, uh, I'm very confused. Wait for father again. What is happening? Free runner. Oh, this is so cool. Look at this, bro. They added a little mini game here and everything. It's pretty sick. Ooh, almost caught. We got this. Let's see how far we can go. Our father's probably up there already anyway. Can we go all the way to level 30? I, I don't even think if I can, I would. Oh, 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 almost. Oh, God. You probably could go all the way to 30, to be honest. Talk with Papa. Okay, he's here. Hold on, let me go ahead and water the plants. I don't know if there's anything that we get or achieve by watering the plants every day. I figured might as well. strong little plant next one I wonder if by like you know day 20 or whatever for example you see some change in these plants that'd be pretty cool keep growing little one I'm back how are you feeling I feel very good I slept amazingly even though well, I had a weird dream. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. I'm fine. Don't worry. Did you take your pills today? Yes, I did. I really have to take them every day? Of course. It's for your own good. That's what they all say, huh? They prevent you from getting infected. It's important that you take them every day. Okay, okay, I will. Did you find something today? Uh, yes, uh, I managed to gather some food and uh, other supplies. Did you run into a monster again? Unfortunately, yes. The world outside is a mess. Monsters are imitating human voices. If you hear anyone besides me, do not make a sound. They mustn't find you. Um, I'm scared, Papa. What if they make your voice? How do I know that it's really you? Let's think of a password. What about Apple? What's that? Wow. A sparse resource. She doesn't even know what an apple is. A delicious type of food. If I manage to find one, I'll give it to you. I'm excited. Aren't you tired yet? Now that you mention it, I should go to bed soon. Good idea, honey. Rest well. Good night, Papa. Yo, this is so weird, bro. Like, I feel so bad for this little girl. I've said this before on the channel, but I've never... F I, I, I've always been, you know, 
mindful of like you know like a child's emotions and shit but it takes you being like a father yourself to really like it just hits different bro when there's anything involving kids it just really hits different this is kind of weird i don't know it's kind of heavy over me right now the world outside is a mess what does he mean press a to select a drawing oh this one i just feel like i don't i feel like i can't really trust him i really do feel like we are being held captive here and those pills are dumbing us down i don't know today papa has told me about something called apple he said it is very rare because the outside, the world outside is a mess. I'm scared of the outside. There are many monsters. Go to sleep. And you see, and then he told her they're mimicking human voices. So like if somebody were to come rescue her, you know, let's just say again, I could be wrong. She's never even going to try and reply or respond to them because she's going to assume automatically that it's probably the monsters. We're being manipulated here. Oh shit. Oh, we're actually playing? Okay, let's go this way. I think this is like where the dad comes from, possibly, and that's like the door that he speaks to us uh, through. And these dreams seem to I think this is based off of what we chose. Like the outside world, the spikes coming out of the, coming out of the ground. Yeah, you see? I don't could be wrong. I'm just Okay. What is the meaning of this? Are we dreaming again or what? Oh, there's a spike again. Hello? Is this another one of those nightmares? Okay, I think there it is. What is that? Is that an apple? No. What is that? Some sort of fruit? <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Take your pills. Maybe there are monsters outside, you know, but maybe I was wrong. That was definitely a dream, for sure. She's being, uh, we're being manipulated at this point. I, I, I just don't like this dude's vibes. I don't like Papa's vibes. I don't trust him. I don't trust him. But then again, who the hell do we trust? You know, we got nobody else. There's no... F oh, wow. There is no food. There's some old food left. Oh, okay. Wash yourself. I already ate. I'll go ahead and shower, I guess. I don't know why the first time I thought I said wash your hands. I, I, <laughs> that's why I went to the sink where I drank water from, but... Wait for father. You know what? This time I'm going to go ahead and water the plants. I'm going to water my first plant. I'm really hoping something happens with the, with, with the plants. next one just kind of wondering also why is there no food this time around did he die did the monsters get to him perhaps we'll see grow big and strong little plant i'm so I feel so bad for her bro little plant 
Oh, shoot. All right, we're back at level eight. That's cool. Level nine. Can't catch me, suckers. Okay, hold on. So I think once I hit them, it just resets the timer. Oof, almost got me. Level 11. Level 12. I wonder if something happens when you beat this game. Like after you go past level 30. Let me see if we go to the door, what happens? The door is shut locked. Okay, hold on. Hello? Papa? Are you here? Where are you? I'm scared. Hello? You didn't come today. Writing your diary. Oh, okay. Things are starting to change up a bit here. Hmm. All right. A little tense. <laughs> a little suspense. What the fuck is going on here? You didn't come home today. Where is Papa? I mean, they're the same, right? Where's Papa? Making sure there's no difference. I think they're the same. Oh, man. Today, Papa didn't come home. I was all done and scared, and I hope he comes back tomorrow. I hate it when I'm alone. Man, like, it's, it's crazy to me how some kids have to go through some shit like this. And some kids are going this through this every single day. Some kids get taken and then they get put in a position where they have to experience this, man. Sometimes I I wonder this a lot to myself. Shit's not fair. That's so fucking sad. Oh, another dream. More like a nightmare. Hello? Papa? Papa? Help me, Papa. Oh, it's opened up. Oh, oh my god. Here we go. It's one of these. It's like a maze. Hmm. Gotta be a hallway somewhere here. There it is. Okay. This looks very similar to. Oh, hold on. This one drops down. Day six. What the fuck are all these pills? Or is it what the fuck are in these pills? Okay. That sounds better. Drink some water. No more food either again. Shit. We're not going to have any food now. I mean, we can survive without food for weeks, but... Is this guy really dead? Maybe he was good all this time. Prepare some food. Still no food. Oh, no. There's still some old food left. Okay. Good, good, good. I guess something's better than nothing. Are we gonna get poisoned? Possibly. Maybe it's rotten food. I don't know. I'm gonna go wash myself. And then, I don't know if we're gonna have to wait for Papa this time around, because realistically, he didn't show up last time, so. Maybe one of the monsters got him. I don't know. Let's see what the, ne the, the, the next task here is. Wait for Father again. Okay, I'm gonna play this game. I'm gonna try to go to 30 and see what happens in Free, ru free Runner. You should be able to do it. 
It's easy, bro. It's easy. Easy work. I think I just got touched. So yeah, when you get touched, it just resets. Well, 21. Let's go. There it goes. 22. I can almost fall asleep to this like humming sound effect in the background. You guys might think I'm weird, but I'm I, I'm kind of into ASMR. Like I, I I sometimes when I'm editing videos, I'll put on some ASMR and I'll just kind of relax. Sometimes I even fall asleep editing a video. Um, it's crazy. Sometimes when I got like three hours of footage, I'm like, dude, do I really want to go and edit through all this shit right now? So I'll put on some like ASMR, relax my mind. And then I'll wake up and it's like two hours later and I'm like drooling. I feel like I'm exposing a lot about myself in this video. I'm sorry. Okay? This game is doing something to me. I gotta be careful. I can't even trust myself. Here we go. Grab that. What are my little plan here? Grow big and strong. Little plant. I don't know why every time I read that it makes me sad. <laughs> oh, I'm such a bitch. Okay. Alright, here we go. Papa. The door is locked. I feel like he's gonna leave it open. Or maybe it'll be open one of these days. Where's Papa? Alright, now I'm getting kind of creeped out. Papa? I feel like something's gonna open through there and I'm gonna get fucking scared. Not today either. Writing your diary. Oh my god. My papa's dead. The monsters from the outside world have taken him. Well, at least I know if I've got no water in the sink, I got some toilet water. Here we go. If Papa is not coming home. Do I need to take my pills? I'm going to go with no. I'm, I'm going to go with no. I feel like I've been taking the pills, but I've been hallucinating. But honestly, I've been hallucinating based off of what our father... I'm not going to take them. I'm sorry. Fuck it. I'm not taking them. I'm breaking the rule. He's still not coming. It's been four days now. The pills make me tired. If he's not coming, do I even have to take them? No. I won't take them anymore. Good on you. I feel like that was a bad decision, but I'm gonna go to sleep. I feel like this dude's gonna show up now. Hey, I'm sorry, sweetie. I almost died, but I managed to escape. Have you taken your pills? No, Papa, you were dead. I didn't take my pills. Then he's probably gonna kill me. Okay, well, apparently the pills were not the ones making me hallucinate. As you can see here, we are back to the same bullshit. Climbing up. Are you uh oh sure about this? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. Yes, take me. Please! Okay, maybe I'll go this way. Mmm. There's multiple. Here we go. So those those are like chains. I thought those were like kind of like a chain where we could climb up, but I think we're just breaking them off and different por uh, points 
Again, this is just a dream. I don't know what the repercussions of this are going to be. You should have... No? You should trust Papa. I don't know, man. I feel like I'm being lied to here. I mean, realistically, as a child, what would a child do? Trust her father, right? It would be the only... But it's the only thing we've known. The only thing this girl's known her whole entire existence. I mean, she doesn't even know what an apple is, for the love of God. I, I honestly do not trust that guy. Is it worth it? Oh, fuck, I don't know. Shit. Day seven. My God. Drink some water. All right. No more pills. Perfect. And now there is food here. Okay. There's food. Is he back? Oh my God. He's back, bro. He didn't take the pills. Fuck. I mean, if he's our father, I'm sure it's going to be all right. You know? Probably say something like, sweetheart, you should have drank your pills. Come on, it's okay. Two days without drinking pills, you'll be fine. But just please continue taking them. I don't know what the trophy's there for, but... Hmm. What about the game? I still have stuff to do. I'll wash myself. I'll wait for father. Let's see. What do we have to do this thing all over again? No. Okay, we're done. Cool. Go ahead and water the plants. All right, let's just go back up. The door is locked shut. I'm just going to wait here. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh. Appa? Appa? What do you mean, Appa? Hey, uh, sweetie. You're back. Yes, uh, princess. I'm back. Wait. What's the password? Apple. Ooh. It's actually you. Where did you go? I'm sorry. Something urgent came up. I had to leave for a couple days. It won't happen again. Promise? Promise. How have you been? Have you been taking your pills? I've been all right. Oh my God. I had to eat some leftovers though, but that wasn't a problem at all. What about your pills? Uh, yes, of course. I took them. He's not gonna know, right? I'm glad to hear. Also, as an apology, I brought you something. What is it? Oh my god, it's an apple. So that's what it looks like. Try eating it soon. They're best when they're fresh. I'll try it later. Already. Feeling tired? Um, yes. A bit. That's good. Head to bed, then sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. This dude really just fucking comes here for like less than three minutes, gives me something, and then tells me to go to sleep. Oh my god. Um 
try the apple. I don't. So sweet and juicy. Pretend to fall asleep. Oh shit. Well, let's see. What do we got here? We're gonna see what he does. Oh. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? He's here. Hello? Shh. I'm sleeping. Shh. Shh. Shut up. Shut up. Are you awake? This is so creepy. Fuck. All right. Let's get to it then. Shit. What a fucking... I don't believe it. Oh my, oh my god. Was he? He was putting down his pants, wasn't he? <sighs> Fuck. Wow. Oh, fuck is scary here. We're about to see. We are about to see, bro. This is probably under this guy's fucking house. <gasps> okay, hold on, hold on. Receipt. Vitality RX Pharmacy. Purchases. Five times sedatives. Total 72 bucks. What are sedatives? Oh my god. Police report. Spontaneous house inspection. Taken to the police station. Due to suspicious purchases. Conclusion. No substantial evidence found. Until now. Yeah, bro, he had us down there the entire time. Case will be closed. Bro, he's gonna be here. Oh, fuck. Papa? You fucking bastard, Papa. See, such a game so simple. Literally, there's nothing crazy about this yet. Look at the story that's being told here. The basement. What? This dude's house. The sun. What is that glowing ball up there? <laughs> and what 
Why does it hurt my eyes? Wow, dude. What? Man, that was awesome. So, a game that has nothing special. The only thing that drives this game, in my opinion, is the story, which is, at the very core, so simplistic. But that ending, you really realize what's been going on. You kind of get the sense of it after, like, day two. Maybe even day one, and at the end, bro, the way that you pretend to be asleep and this fucking pig goes down there and tries to do his dirty work and you find out that you were being sedated your entire life hell has a special place for people like that and this shit really does exist like this shit this pisses me off dude like honestly like this is this torments my soul and it pisses me off. This was one heck of a game. I, I would have never thought such a simple, weird, ugly looking game would impact me the way this just did. I, I pray for, for people that go through some shit like that, bro. Wow. All right, guys. Um, Dear goodness, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's very different, but I'm really happy. Normally, this is a video that I'm like, ah, just, just there was really nothing special in this game, I'm, and I just won't post it because I've done that so many times. I've I've recorded so many games that I've never even posted them because I didn't enjoy it. But I felt like this message was really strong, and, and the way it just kind of hits you in the face at the end like that. I this was a pretty pretty incredible game being for you know being what it is that was that disturbed me for real so I, I i i'm inclined to share this experience so thank you for watching i i hope you enjoyed it and um yeah i'll catch you guys later